It, it is based upon a real case in Ireland that we looked at a character who lived a, a double life and um, who had a really perfectly sort of like, you know, good job and um, a lovely family and uh, a lovely wife and all that sort of thing. But there was a part of him that completely just uh, existed in this really, really dark, like super, super, super dark place. So his second violinist is an ensemble, an ensemble that I think are probably doing pretty okay that they're um, they're performing in the National Sort of Concert Hall in Dublin, and um, it's it's building up to a performance, and he's under an enormous amount of stress because his music isn't coming together, and he's getting all these phone calls from um, uh, other you know like that are left on his answer machine or on his phone um, from people on the ensemble going, you've got to get your act together, you're really, really pulling us down and all that type of thing. So he's, we feel as if he's under pressure because of that. Welcome to your voicemail. You have five new voice messages. Message received today at 11.33 hours. Hi, Martin. Uh, it's Sean. I think you were in rehearsal. I um, hope all's going well. I uh, haven't seen you in ages. It uh, would be lovely to see you two. Deleted. Next message. Message received today. And then people enter his apartment and start singing. And then we go, oh, he's working, is this his opera? He's working on an opera? This, these must be the characters in his opera. And incrementally, we just begin to sort of tell the story of like, he has a very sort of quite funny, isolated, lonely sort of existence. We're throwing a lot of information up into the air and, um, uh, and out into the auditorium. And we're trying to sort of create, you know, real thick atmosphere that has, that's, that's sort of fizzing with sort of, story and uh, um, you know like and tone and all that type of thing and it's exactly the same as it as theatre it's not a tradition in Irish theatre to um, to to tell story to tell a sort of like a straight sort of na narrative you know we tend to think of theatre as being allegorical a little bit sort of abstracted certainly my contemporaries a little bit sort of abstracted at times um, and we're very, very happy sort of swimming around in that. So, uh, yeah, I mean, theatres, our, our opera has got like a sort of a larger sort of canvas. The impulses, the emotion, the complexity, everything feels bigger and deeper. And, uh, but it means sort of like when you're directing it, you just need real focus. The most fantastic thing about working on it is that you, re I mean, all theatre is sort of collaborative, but opera, you do sh share this sort of directing with the con conductor. And, you know, like it's sort of, you know, it's, you know, it's my job to sort of stage it, but it's his job really to make sure that they're in tune. And you know, they're, they're singing, they're like, they're, they're singing properly and all that type of thing. So you do, and I really, really, really enjoy that. I, kn I, I love knowing that I am not fully responsible for sort of something. <laughs> do you know what I mean? But I feel that about theater too. Like whenever it goes, oh my God, there's a lot of pressure because you've written and you've directed and all that type of thing. And I was going, you know what? You do feel really, really, I'm, I've worked with the same people now for about eight years now and uh, like exactly the same team and you do feel as if actually sort of like you're really massively sort of supported and da 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 and, and everyone's sort of like have got their own sort of you know um, sort of departments like and it's only my job just to make sure that everyone's happy. <laughs>